Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Tudor Mansion. Last episode, we laid out the interior blueprint. Quite literally, the blueprint. With, <laughs> with blue wool. Hey, it's looking good. I really, really like the layout with the hallway design that we went for. In the last one, we sort of went with a, a room to room design. So you'd go through a doorway. And just end up straight into the next room. On this one, when you go through a room, you usually end up in some sort of hallway. Yes, there are some rooms to rooms. But you do end up in a lot of hallways. And I really, really like... We have no door into this one. I'm going to do a double door into the library there and there. Something like that. Um, so yeah, most of the time you're going to end up into a hallway. Which is really, really cool. I really like that. Uh, today we're going to start on the landing. I think it's an appropriate place to start when you come through the door. It's a good place for us to sort of start on perhaps a little bit of a uniform design that's going to go out throughout the house. I've looked into Tudor interiors and something that really stands out are panels. It's very panelled throughout. So I think we want something like some spruce, uh, maybe some oak wood. Maybe some spruce wood, maybe some whiter block like a snow. It's either a very dark interior or a very light interior. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for sort of somewhat medium floors, dark ceiling, light walls, but accented on the walls with darker blocks. So I think what we want to do is have something like pillars in the corners either side of this fountain area we're gonna have a nice pillar like this and on this one in fact you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the pillars out on that one and that one see how that already is gonna give us a lot of depth to the uh, to the room itself, we're going to have a lot of ins and outs, a lot of little cubby holes for shelves and stuff. And that's going to work out really, really nicely. For the walls themselves, I think what we want to have is maybe some other log. Yeah, like an acacia log. To go around the doorways. Something like, something like that. That's a nice height as well. I like that. And then we want to mirror it the same on this side. I really like that wood. That goes really well with the spruce. I love it. And then in the middle, I think we want to go with a lighter block. We want to go with a light white sort of colour. <clears throat> it might be a little bit too bland still at the moment. But that's something that we just sort of have to work on as we get further and further into the room. We have to, You have to start somewhere. And even if you don't like it at first, at least it's getting some blocks down. You can always change them out afterwards. It's a great thing about Minecraft is nothing is set in stone. Um, apart from ores, which are quite literally set in stone. <laughs> but you, you can always change them. So put down some walls. See, that looks sick. I love it. I love it. Some spaces for lights, all sorts. We wanted a fountain in here. We do have the staircase directly behind here but I could potentially move this staircase out by one block if we wanted to or we could have the fountain come down the middle there I like that idea and then maybe grab some dark oak or spruce spruce check this out upside down like that then the water bucket goes in there I like that I think I want it larger though I think I want I think I'm gonna change them to spruce take that out and then hook this oops hook this around the corners I know it's dark in here we'll get lights in a second not too long that is really nice some plants up the side um, maybe using the sea lanterns. It's another light option, you see. In the ground here, we want to get rid of this grass. I think what we're going to go with is a nice lapis block. As it's blue, it makes the water look deeper than it actually is. And then we'll grab some leaves to go up the sides. See, that is a beautiful entrance. You walk into a house and you see that and you're like, this is going to be nice. This is good. Okay, so ceiling in here. Ceiling, we wanted a darker wood. 
but I think I actually want it on this level, not on this level. And then, yeah, because we want lighter floors. Okay, so I am going to have to take, take this out here. Because obviously we don't want the ceiling of this floor being the same block as the floor to the room. The floor to the floor above. That doesn't sound good to me. So instead, we'll grab some dark, dark oak here for a nice darker ceiling. And doing it on this level will allow us to then have slabs on top of this of a different type. So let's say we wanted the floor above to be this stone, for example. We can place the slabs directly on top like that. I think that's a really, really good, uh, good forward thinking. So we'll fill this in here. Now, what's the most important thing about an old house? Or, or what's more, most important about ceilings in rooms in old houses? It's uh, beams. Beams are really, really important. Uh, beams is what's going to really make the place look like it's old. So I think I want to probably go with these nice acacia wood for the beams. And I think we want to probably take them out along this one. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the case or go with the darker wood. I might go with the darker wood. Mind you, that's looking very mine shafty. That's looking very mine shafty. I don't, oops, I don't like that. That, that's, we, we don't want it looking like a giant mine shaft in here. We want really nice looking sort of beams. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab our spruce logs back. We'll put them down here. This room might not be wide enough to be able to do beams going across the middle. Maybe in a large room, like in the lounges, we can do that. See, that's that's nice. That's definitely something that I'm happy with. The floor, I'm going to go with oak. It's a nice sort of lighter slash mid, mid shade of wood, mid shade of color. There's nothing more neutral than oak in Minecraft. It's the most neutral block that I can think of. It sort of goes with pretty much everything. Uh, so we can do piston designs and they'll blend in. We can do other wood designs they'll blend in. We can put carpets on top and they won't look out of place. No matter what you put next to oak wood, it's always going to look nice. That is, that's really, really nice. For the lights, now we need to think of some light. We've got some glowstone down here. But we want some sort of older lights. Oh, and we want... I, I was thinking about having this as a balcony area to look down on. Do we still want to do that design? This is the moment that we need to think about. No, I don't think I do. I think we can make this into a nice big seating area or something like that instead. Whoa, my dogs are barking. So I think for lighting in here... I'm thinking... Of, I'm thinking... Number one, that we should change the direction of those to that way and that way. I'm thinking about doing lighting underneath the carpets in here. Because I don't think I want anything on the roof, on the ceiling in here. I don't know why. I just don't think that's going to look very good. Let's change these out. Do I want to go along the back here as well? Yeah, I like that. But definitely, we definitely need something on the ceiling here. That's looking really, really blank. No, I think we are going to put the lightings in the top here. Now, beacons do sort of look somewhat traditional in a way. Well, like that. And then if we join them up using some uh, blocks like that. Hold on, I'm going to have to get my dogs to stop barking. They're driving me nuts. Oh, peace and quiet. It's ever so hard to concentrate and talk when you've got dogs barking. <laughs> Drives me absolutely nuts. Okay, we're, we're fine though, we're fine. Uh, I think I'm going to change this out again. And I'm going to put in sideways spruce. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's beautiful. I do like these these beacons as well. I think that they're... They sort of look like an old oil lamp, in my opinion, if we use them in this way. There's like an old oil lamp surrounded in glass. Sort of goes well for, I think. I don't think there's too much there. And it's definitely now light enough in this area. 
very white. The brick and the white don't go too well together, but with the divide in the middle, I don't think it's so bad. Uh, plus, we can darken this up with potentially either dark oak or spruce shelves. Do I want them like that? Oh, that looks nice. There's some tiny little shelves. I'm using slabs instead of carpets. Uh, because we can get more of them in. We can get, in fact, twice as many, I think, uh, in instead. No, can we? Or would it be better? Oh, decisions, decisions. It's the hardest part. The hardest part about building any interior is starting it off. Getting a design that you like. Because you're going to want to keep something similar with that all the way through. You don't want to change it up from room to room too much. Yeah, no, I think I prefer that. I think I prefer the carpets over... Over the slabs. Let's put those down in here. Apologies for the jump cut. Dogs, we're still not shutting up. <laughs> they started up again. Okay, I like the shelves. That takes away the brick being against the white a little bit more. I think that's a little bit of a better contrast. There is one other option that we can do, though. And that is... Oops, not by breaking the bricks. And that is by actually putting white on this level instead where's this string there it is putting white up here does that oh that's that's the killer that's the one that we want to do like that oh that that's got it that's nailed the interior i like that i like that uh now we can put shelves on here no problem in fact i think i want to do the shelves more on this spot and put them up here maybe not all the way up just three shelves instead of four and then we can have a nice plant up the side here. Now I'm going to go with the sea lanterns again. Seeing as though we've sort of already done it in the room. And it's going to sort of make sense to have them. And this one. They're three blocks high. I'm going to have them slightly shorter. I'm going to have these ones two blocks leaves. Or two leaf blocks high. And these ones three. So it sort of draws you in. If they're taller at the back. I think it's going to draw you more into the house. I really, really like that. I would like a painting in here somewhere. Just something to... Give a little bit of colour, a little bit of, of homely feel in here. I'm thinking about torches on there and there as well. I'm just It's just standing up like torches in the house. Candles. We could say they're candles. You know, if we're going to do that, we're going to want to dress them up a little bit more. They look a little bit dull at the minute. So we'll have item frames on them. And then if you put a, you might not know this, if you put a slab inside the item frame, it sort of looks like it's holding the torch on, like a little bracket. So I think that looks a little bit more candle-like. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, paintings can go beautifully above the door here, not a skull. No, I want a, I think I want just a one block tall, two block wide one. Yeah, that's very homely. That's a nice one to have straight at the entrance. Oh, and then that one. That's nice. That's nice. Now, on the floor, we're going to want a rug. Now, I don't I don't really want to go with the greys again. And I don't really want more brown. We've already got enough brown in here. But we do have blue from the water. So we can get away with having a, a blue and maybe white. Let's have a... Not cyan up. Uh, light blue, dark blue, and white wool. And then have those in like that. That's a nice entrance. It brings a little bit of colour. At the moment, we're going with very poopy brown colours. We have brown ceiling. We have some sort of brown sort of stylish floor. We've got brown details. We've got brown shelves. But then a little bit of colour in here. This goes well with the sea lanterns. It goes well with the water. Uh, and the white goes well with the walls and the sort of barrier to the fountain as well. That's a really nice entrance. What if we go like one block further? Oops. Yeah, that's not, that's a really nice interior. I really, really like that for a first room. I don't think anything else is really required in this room. Um, maybe something above the door. What about... Not on that one. Yeah, something like that. That's just a little touch of detail. In fact, I sort of, I sort of really like that to go there 
and there. Oh, we're going crazy on detail in here. That's nice. That's nice. But I don't want to do any more because otherwise we're going to start making it look cramped. Let's move into... They're both sitting rooms on either side, but we do have a potential fireplace or a fireplace. Not a potential one. We have a fireplace to go in here. Oh, and polished granite... F granite? Granite? <laughs> for the floor of our... Uh, fireplace this is huge or potentially huge um i think we want this and this is where the fireplace is going to be this block will be covered up with either wood or wool i think we're going to go with the wood first or snow not wool sorry so like that and that that and that where does the room oh this is all the same room lovely that's good to know there 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 and there and then we'll grab the slab and stair equivalents now i love i love building fireplaces this is one of the funnest things for me to do because you can get so many such a different variety of um of fireplaces using different shapes and different textures i think i want something like a little round area at the start here like a little bit of an arch sort of one. Nice big fireplace. Has to be very, very grand, these fireplaces. They're one of the main features of the building. And then a right way up one, like that. Maybe, ooh, curve those around like that. See, that that looks sick. So much depth in there. And then full blocks. No, I'm going to put an upside down one there to get a little bit of a square. And then the rest of this. I think I'm going to bring back by one block. And then this can go up nicely. That's going above the floor, so I don't need to continue it on any further for now. That's that's looking really, really nice. At the bottom here, we're going to do a nice andesite floor. Uh, as it sort of looks a little bit like concrete, in a way. Uh, something that uh, is a little bit more neutral to be able to place logs on. And this fireplace is actually big enough not only to have a fire going... But potentially to have other stuff. If we got fire spread off still, we should from the other house. We do. So we have the potential. Let's try this out. We'll do the, the old netherrack and flint and steel trick to get a, an always going fire. But then what about this? We get some blocks of coal and some logs to go around it. I'm going to use oak logs as they, they're sort of the most logish looking to me. Not that many. Oops. Yeah, like that. And it looks like it's got a fire. The fire is actually going then, doesn't it? That's what it looks like. I really, really like that. So we want to continue through the oak on the floor. And we want to have the sort of a similar uh, dark oak design on the ceiling. I'm going to do that and then I'll be back to work out the rest of the walls and stuff, okay? Okay, already by just putting down a floor and a ceiling, this looks a lot better with... I'm starting to really feel the interior and how the colors are going to flow throughout the house. We can, if we want, actually keep the andesite visible. I don't know if I want to do that. I definitely don't like the bricks being visible. That certainly has to be covered up. So, in the middle here, we can have a nice log up there. I want a nice log here and here. We want the white snow, a nice sort of neutral contrasting block uh, against everything else to go in here, above the doorway. Keep it three blocks tall, I think, is a, is a sensible amount of room. And then we want this being a nice white wool to the corner, where we'll have another log. Uh, around here. Whoops. And there. And do I want another log in the corner? I think I do. I think I'm going to have a log here. Whoops, I've covered that one up. A log there, that doesn't need to be there. Also, try and take away any blocks that have wasted space. If you leave those blocks in, you'll find that you sort of... Oh, I've done this on the wrong one. Yeah, if you if you leave wasted blocks in where they, you don't necessarily need blocks, you're actually ending up with less room for other stuff that you want. Um... Uh, you know, uh, space for shelves, space for uh, furniture and stuff like that. So 
Like, now I can go around this side, and where we've got this blue wool here, I can remove that. Because that's now giving us five extra blocks for a shelf, or a sofa, or a bookshelf, or a bookshelf? Bookshelf, or a desk, or something along those lines. It gives us a lot more room. I do know that we've got these ones missing here. So I can put that up there, and up here. That fireplace looks totally totally sick i think i actually want more andesite though i think i want to extend this around like this that looks a lot sort of more um part of the room now as well it doesn't look like a little a little concrete mat almost it looked like before now this sort of actually looks like it's meant to be part of it we want to get rid of hmm you know if we put wool there we can no longer see oh i suppose you can see a little bit of the log Oops. Let's have logs up between this window and this window. And then a log here. I'm still undecided if I want to keep the andesite visible. It's not a bad block to be able to see. Oops. That one, that one, that one, and that one. See, I, I really don't like not being able to see all of that log. I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put it here instead. This room is more important than this room. You can The window is covered a little bit inhibited. But this room is much more important. Oh yeah. And we want uh, yeah wrong wood around that. No, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to run this along here. It's going to make it a little bit more of a flat wall, which is something that we want to stay away from. Oh, no. Wrong way. No, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Take this away. And move it the other side instead. Move it this way by one. No. Hmm. I'm really undecided here. I know for certain we want acacia wood, acacia logs to go around the door. This video is going longer than I want. <laughs> We're going to have to end it off in a minute, but it's just so much I want to do. This one and that one. And then oak on the floor. And then white wool above there and there. And then maybe logs here. What if I move that over by one? Logs here. Oh, I, ho I hope you guys are sending in your pictures. I've seen some Tudor houses that you've done already. I've seen someone that has been replicating it pretty much exactly. Great job with that. I want to see your interiors, though, because this is so fun. Trying to figure out exactly how you want each room to go. I really like that. And I tell you what, I do like seeing the andesite. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the andesite visible. It, it's a nice grey. It's very close to the white, so it sort of goes quite well. Maybe this one should be here. And white should be down here. And I'll tell you why. Because that way, this log is next to that window. And this log is right next to that window. That looks really good. The andesite is a nice touch in the room. The same as over there. Apart from that log... That log and this one are in two different places. What if I done that? Is that like too much logs? No, I sort of like that. Nice bit of a nice amount of wood around the side. We can take this out. Swap that out for wool. Take this one out. Swap that one out for wool. And then it's only two blocks. That's good. That is all we've got time for this episode. This room needs a lot of work. We need beams in here. Uh, we obviously need the furniture and stuff and floor, more detail in the floor and stuff. But definitely, as a bit start of an interior of the room, it looks good. A lot of people would leave it here. A lot of people would say, yep, this is now complete. I've got the floor, I've got the ceiling, I've got the walls. But the ceiling has so much more potential. There's so much more that we can do with it. It looks a little bit blank. What do you prefer, this or that? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's just so much more with logs going down the side. We'll have some nice beams going down the middle of the chimney and stuff like that. That's all for next episode. I really do like the andesite being visible, though. That's a really, really nice touch. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!